Who is that? I don't remember seeing a woman that gorgeous being in this gym before. And I definitely remember if I saw something as beautiful as that. I mean, look at those legs. Those hips. Those eyes that are making direct contact with mine. Shit. Shit. Just be casual. Come on, Aiden, don't be a weirdo. Just, you're just here doing a workout. No big deal. <laughs> uh. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. I had my music on. Uh, what did you say, ma'am? What? No, I don't have a problem with you. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not over here thinking of ways to prank Fatty. I, I promise. I, uh... Okay, I know I was staring, and that's rude. Absolutely. But it wasn't because I wanted to be mean to you or I was judging you. I... I just... Uh, I think you're hot, okay? Huh? No, I know it's not funny. It's not meant to be. I really, really do think you're super hot, but I also didn't have an energy drink or coffee before I came to work out, so I'm still super tired. And I just noticed that there was someone else at the gym at 2 a.m., and I got curious, and I looked over, and... <sighs> I'm breathing. I, I'm sorry. I'm not really good at talking to people. That's why I usually come here when no one else is around. Typically. You too, huh? Is this your first time at this gym? Nice. Well, uh, welcome. I'm Aiden, one of the owners and partners here. <laughs> I, I promise you're not in any trouble. I want people to feel comfortable speaking up here, and I definitely want them to feel like they can work out safely. I'd like to think I'm an okay guy, you know? Not too bad, anywho. My worst habit. Hmm. <sighs> well, I eat way too often in bed. Narrowly avoided an ant problem, but what can I say? A lot of activities are more fun and comfy when under a comforter or some sheets. A real monster, huh? How about you, newbie? <sighs> Well, ordering takeout way too often is a common vice and pretty understandable. There are a lot of people out there who can work miracles with food and all you gotta do is pay them and the people who bring it to you, right? I mean, that's a pretty sweet deal. Weight can be a sensitive subject for a lot of people. There are a lot of predators out there that promise you can lose weight easily and fast, so long as you buy into their programs or schemes. Sometimes they work, sure. But a weight loss journey should be about gaining new skills and improving ourselves. But sometimes we can be stunning as we are, and the journey is about helping ourselves accept it. <laughs> or sometimes... We find people to appreciate our beauty and cheer us on. I know I don't give the best vibes. Plus, I've actively admitted to thinking you're hot in the first 15 minutes of knowing you, which... Nice, Aiden. Good job, but... <laughs> <sighs> Breathing. There we go. Stupid lungs. I wish I didn't need to breathe at all. More that I had gills and be a merman. Why? They're hot. But, uh, what I was going to say is that I'm more than happy to offer advice and encouragement when and where I can. I'm sure you'd be uncomfortable with me as a personal trainer, but I... <sighs> yes, I really do think you're hot. Like, I don't get anyone that would make fun of your body. 
Here. Walk over to that mirror with me. There. Look at yourself. I know it's hard. I know that you're angry at yourself for how your reflection looks. But give me a chance, okay? I promise I can make you see at least a little of what I see. So, your legs. No, I don't see swollen cankles. I see curvy, sexy legs that would look good at home in a pinup painting. They're just so perfectly curved. And be so satisfying to run my hands over them. I'm willing to bet they'd feel so... I meant me running my hands over them as an example. A, a theoretical. Sorry. I'm bad at talking to people. <laughs> Can you see it? How satisfying the arches of your calves and hips are? As my grandpa would say, In our country, the legs are thick from work and play. In the hips, my grandson, they do not lie. Or something like that. He's from the old country. <laughs> When he says old country, he actually just means Minnesota. <laughs> it's been a running joke since he was a little kid, and we all just ran with it. I usually don't tell people I'm not close with, but he'll keep it a secret, hopefully. Good. Now, can we talk about your lips? I just love how pouty they are. Always just a little pursed. Like you're deep in thought, and... Man, when you're glaring, I mean, damn. You could knock a man to his knees, pursing your lips and raising your eyebrows like that. <laughs> oh, I do love getting into trouble. It's true. I get it from my dad. What can I say? Oh, he used to be a motorcycle gang leader. He was sweet on a girl who grew up with him in the small town he was from, but figured he had no shot. Then he had an accident on that bike. A small one. He was fine, but she came running up, sobbing and pleading that he be okay. The second he assured her he was, she said, Good, and tore him a new one, the likes of which he had never experienced. He just stared up at her from the pavement and smiled, because he knew that she loved him then. <laughs> eh, he still does little things like that to annoy her so she'll scold him, every so often. It's cute. Just like your lips. <laughs> Brought it back around. Nice. It's nice to see you're motivated. I'll let you get back to your workout, okay? And, um... I'll try not to stare as much. Sorry again. I honestly didn't mean to be creepy. <sighs> Thanks for being chill. Just tap me on the shoulder if you need anything, okay? Cool. Later, newbie. Thanks for listening guys. If you want to hear more audios like this, be sure to check out my channel. Also make sure to leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, a subscribe. And if you really really want to show your support for the channel, go and check out my Patreon, where you'll be able to get early access to all upcoming audios, like these wonderful people here. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Nighty night.